This question is from cache organization. We are having a direct map cache memory having a size of 1 MB. So that we are going to do over here. The cache size is 1 MB or 2 to the power 20 bytes. And the size of the blocks in this particular organization is given as 256 bytes. So the block size is 2 to the power 8 bytes that we have noted. And later the cache has an access time of 3 nanoseconds. So this is the T axis we have denoted having value 3 nanoseconds. And next the hit rate of this particular cache is 94%. So we have taken this variable H with value 0.94. Now they are saying that during a cache miss it takes 20 nanoseconds to bring the first word of a block from the main memory while each subsequent word takes 5 nanoseconds. So if you are having these n number of words and there is a cache miss which means that it is not present in the cache memory it will need to be fetched from the main memory so in that case what happens is that from all of these words it takes more time to fetch this first word and once this one is loaded then there might be some implementation of pipeline kind of mechanism due to which every subsequent word takes lesser amount of time for being loaded and how much it is five nanoseconds so for the first word it is 20 and for every subsequent word it is 5 nanoseconds in case of cache miss. Now what they are asking the word size is given as 64 bits or 8 bytes that we have denoted with W. We want to find the average memory access time in nanoseconds in this particular cache memory. So now the average access time which means what are we trying to access the word the word size here is given as 8 bytes so now what we will be doing is we will there are actually two approaches for this question we might consider a hierarchical approach or simultaneous or you can say we usually unless it is not specified we go for hierarchical but here there are both both the cases that we might need to consider and let us analyze both of them independently what is the difference that they are giving so first if we go with the hierarchical approach the first thing that we must be doing is we will find out this t memory which means in case of the cache miss what is the access time that we need so that will be 20 this is for the first word and then five times for every subsequent word which means we have assumed the number of words to be fetched as x so in that case it will take 20 for the first and 5 times of x minus 1 as the total time required for fetching those words in case of a cache miss so in our case let us find out what it is now the block size is given as 2 to the power 8 bytes so if we are trying to access one block that what is the number of words that it will have or the thing which we have taken as x that will be block size which is 2 to the power 8 upon the word size that has been given as 8 bytes so this becomes 2 to the power 5 or 32 which means we are having 32 words that are to be fetched so what is the time that will be required for fetching these 32 words that will be given as this particular tm expression which is 20 times of let us calculate over here 20 plus 5 times of 31 because out of 32 first word will take 20 and then remaining 31 words will take 5 each so this becomes 20 plus 155 that will be 175 nanoseconds so this is the tm expression that we have got now coming to the average access time we know that how is it calculated this is the formula we have noted in case of a cache hit we use this h expression and if it is a cache hit then t axis which means the word was found in the cache itself so this is the time that we will be using and 1 minus h means in case of cache miss then in that case we will require both t axis as well as t memory both of these expressions if we consider it to be a hierarchical axis 
but if it were simultaneous access then this t access term would not come over here it will just be t memory so let us consider both of them if we go with this formula then it gives us h is 0.94 times of t axis that is 3 nanoseconds plus 1 minus h which means the miss ratio so that will be 1 minus hit which means 1 minus 0.94 and that will be 0.06 that plus that times of the t axis which is 3 nanoseconds plus of t memory that we calculated to be 175 so now when we calculate this it becomes 3 times of 0.94 that gives 2.82 plus of 0.06 times of 178 so this will give us 10.68 so when we calculate this it becomes the total of 13.5 nanoseconds so this was the case when we consider it to be a hierarchical axis but if it were this case 2 of simultaneous axis then that would have become same 2.82 plus now here instead of 0.6 into 178 we would just be considering 0 0.06 into 175 then in that case it would have been 10.5 over here and giving us a total of 2.82 plus 10.5 and that becomes approximately 13.3 nanoseconds so these might be the two possible answers for this but since there is no mention whether the cache organization is considered to be hierarchical or simultaneous by default we usually go for hierarchical itself so we will be using this formula where we will use both t access as well as t memory in case of a cache miss and hence the correct answer for this question using this particular calculation should be the 13.5 nanoseconds so this is what we will be going with